Hi, in this video, we're going to add some shapes to our application. Okay, so here we go. Again, I'm in my Power BI service application. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click, I'm going to open up my project. And as you can see, it opens up in um, the preview mode. I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. Now this time we're going to add some shapes. And then in another video, we're going to connect the shapes to pages. So we're going to make these, these shapes interactive. Okay. So how do we do that? So first of all, we got to add the shapes. So step one is adding the shape. So I'll go over here and click on shapes. I'll click on rectangle. Rectangle box comes up and I will add a shape. We'll put it right here for now. I'm going to make this a little smaller so it kind of fits up. I could even kind of play around some of my sizes here of my, make that a little smaller, center that, and make this a little smaller too as well. Perfect. And now the shape's here. Okay. So it's a, it's a box. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click, click on style and color i can change the color so this shape is going to be a button for my home page okay so i'm going to go here and i have here button home i'm going to click here again these are my predetermined um colors so i'll click color and more colors and i'll change the color all right and now okay it's a box but i'm going to add text to it so again i'm going to shape i'm going to click on text i'm going to turn that on and I'll type in the word home. Change the font. And eh, it's a little small to read, so we'll make the font a little larger. Okay, that works. And the font color is white, so there you go. So we have a shape. But we, we're, we're going to we're gonna make the shape interactive in another video. But we first have to add the shape itself. So we're going to add two more shapes. Click here. Rectangle. And the second shape we'll put right about here. Make it smaller. And we're going to add, again, uh, style. Let's go back to our um, sheet here and copy our color. This is for the ranking sheet button. So we're going to type in, uh, we're going to set the color. And then we're going to type in the word in the text. We'll turn text on. And we have ranking and I'm going to change the font let's make the font larger and the font's white okay and I got to double check let's see that's 16 and that's 16 very good and notice when I click this shape here I'm already in shapes I'm already in this area here when I click this shape here it, it goes to the same exact area of that particular shape, visualization, object, whatever you like to call it. So it makes it easier for you to navigate, okay, and make changes, all right? So I have the home button. I have the ranking button. Again, I'm going to use another shape to create one more button. Again, a rectangle, nothing new here. And I'll drag and drop it here. I'm going to use a, make it a little smaller. All right, great. And again, I'm going to change the style. Let me. I like to set the color first. So let's go here and the buttons for raw data. So I'm going to change the color and more colors. And there we go. And I will type in the text. Oh, let me turn the text on. Here we go. Raw data. And I'll go ahead and select my font that I've been normally using. Okay, very good. Here we go. And oh, by the way, I can do a horizontal alignment. I can to the left, center, right, but it looks great centered. Okay, perfectly centered, vertical and horizontal. I can even do, move it to the top, but I, I like to keep it horizontal. And you could make more, you could make it, uh, you know, change the padding on the shape, make it glow. You can change the shading, for example. So, but I just, I'm just gonna keep it basically a flat design, okay? So now we have our three buttons. Um, added to our, our page, okay? And don't forget when you're de designing your app, whether you're using Power BI service, which is what we've been using, or if you're using the desktop, make sure you save your work frequently and often. So I'm gonna click the desk, disk here icon, and I'm gonna save it, okay? 
diskette or save whatever you want to call that icon. So there you go. I just saved it. All right. So I save in my work. Okay. And there we go. So now we have three shapes that we're going to turn into buttons in the next video. So um, that concludes this video. Thank you.